Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Dolcourt for CNET and this is the Nokia XL. This is the largest phone in the Nokia X family. Now the X family is sort of like a combination hybrid of Android, Windows Phone, and Nokia's Asha OS. Android is the backbone and you've got some icons on top that are reminiscent of both Windows Phone and Asha interfaces. Um, with some of the services of both. But you can't think of this as an Android phone because you can't use Google Play services and you can only get apps through the Nokia store. It's a little bit limited. Um, so keep in mind this experience as you see the rest of the device. Even though the screen is five inches, pixel density is pretty low, about 187 PPI versus somewhere in the 300 range for higher end phones. So although you do get the real estate for watching movies, reading articles, you're still not gonna see as sharp and crisp a detail as you would on a higher end phone. This phone is definitely in the budget end of the range. It'll cost about $150, 150 pounds. That's the lower starting end, but of course prices will vary and fluctuate um, from market to market. Now, the phone comes in this bright green color, but it comes in other shades as well. So you've got a variety to choose from. On the front, you've got the single navigation button. You can um, long press to get back home and short press to go back to a previous screen. There are several screens on the interface here and you scroll vertically to access your apps, see your recents, get your news feed. Uh, navigation is pretty simple. On the back, we've got a five megapixel camera with flash. I thought photo quality was okay in some circumstances, but definitely not very clear or sharp, still usable. And there's a two megapixel front facing camera, same story there. Inside there's a one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. Found the phone to be a little bit sluggish. A dual SIM as well. Uh, storage capacity is pretty small at four gigabytes, but there is an expandable option to up to 32 gigabytes. So if you are looking for a budget experience and you don't mind this kind of outdated looking interface, then the hardware is really good and I would definitely recommend the XL for that. However, if you're looking for something that's pure Android, this is not the phone for you, keep looking. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can read our full review at CNET.com.